Greetings and salutations to the great and again to the great and wondrous Mr. Ripsion from Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I thought I made up a very good point in this video. So of that relation. Why you do that. I believe that was the title of this in your video. And why do and extended it to why do people exploit relationships? Frankly, I think it was just for all the reasons you said. Attention. Also, I think it's just that people are immature. Some people think, oh, well, if she doesn't like me, then she won't mind if I change my relationship to single or in a current relationship. And, as you know, I'm referring to Facebook. And no, I'm not aware of the big YouTube couples. Frankly, I think this works about the same way as power couples do in Hollywood or any other profession out there. I do agree. It's very mature, very, very stupid. No matter what situation it is, it's the equivalent of being in high school and saying, you know, your girlfriend says something that you don't like, and, or your boyfriend says something you don't like, and, and you're like, well, here's your stupid water bottle back. Well, oh, fine. Here's your stupid computer mouse back, or something like that. Or, here's your journal. Here's your stupid letters. Here's, here's this. Here's that. And it's all immature, really stupid, and I don't know why people do it. Frankly, I've had, I'm just glad I haven't been in that kind of relationship before. And I haven't been tied up in that kind of relationship, even though I've seen a lot of it throughout high school. I've seen it on television, so I don't think it's relationships really do exist where they fight and fight and you, you know that whole drilling couple nonsense and that's what I'm thinking you know if you're that much of a drilling couple there's a way to handle that issue go jump out of a plane seriously go jump out of a plane to you together lock hands jump and do it without a parachute yeah that'll get other thoughts for you He'll stay with you forever. I tend to find those couples annoying. And there's other sides to that relationship, too, because, well, it's not just the fighting and stuff, it's how they get back together. That now they love each other forever. In reality, you know, they're just going to start all over again. I mean, for crying out loud, I think that's what Bonnie and Clyde were like. Like in the 1920s. Okay. It was just, they enjoy the thrill. It's what it is, a publicity stunt, messing with people's heads. See, will they stay together? Will they, won't, will they not? Frankly, whenever I hear about that sort of thing, I just don't care. I mean, I feel sorry for her, or both of them, because, well, actually, I feel sorry for the both of them, but most of the time, if I'm going to feel sorry for the person, I'm going to feel sorry for the person who got kicked out of his house, like, or her getting, you know, found out he cheated. Because most of the time that turns out to be a bit of a surprise. <laughs> But, most of the time, it, it's like this big celebrity divorces out there, too. Like, oh, Anna sued so-and-so five million bucks. That's, I can't remember. Because he wanted to do this or that, whatever. I think it's just good old, we have to have a show for no reason but to have a show. It's why it works so well in reality television, it's why it works so, so well in YouTube, apparently. And, personally, if this was real love, or real anything, I'm not gonna put it on YouTube, I'm not gonna put it on my social network, 
and I agree with everything you said about that. I'm going to keep it hidden for the most part. I might talk about what it's like to be in a relationship, like, I might give him advice, like, okay, when he's, you just don't mess with things, you know, you don't go there, you don't make his life miserable because you want to, you know, you just, no, leave him alone. He wants you left alone, leave him alone. Okay? Okay. And, same way with men. You know the ins and outs of women, I'm sure. At least one, anyways. So far. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I personally just get tired of seeing couples all together doing this nonsense. Let's see. <laughs> All I can say is, I do not wish to be wrapped up into this situation, and if you want to kill each other, you kill each other. Done. And as I was saying about the divorce thing, I feel more sorry for the children, if there are any children involved, that they have to sit through this. That they're in, you know, they gotta deal with mom being this way, dad being that way and having to talk directly or have these supporters ask questions that they can't really answer other than I don't know dad got some wild hair up his butt and, and decided mom needed a new facial of oh, new facial oh, well that included his fist and then mom decided well you won't know about that new purchase and, and or wanted to buy some new classic earrings or something. Whatever. I personally just stay out of it and hope to God they won't ruin anything. Anyways, I just think it's just immature people who get married who have no idea what they're heading into or not married of just immature people using the internet as another way to Say, world, my girlfriend messed up my life, or my boyfriend and doesn't love me. Hmm. Just another childish fight about nothing. Okay. But, anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley. Sign out.